2022 has been all but announced to be Modern Warfare 2, and honestly, that is something that's probably going to rejuvenate COD again. We all know Modern Warfare 2019 put COD back on the map again, and it's just something I see Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 doing again. Love it or hate it, the success of Warzone and Modern Warfare put the standard on COD that has to be met, and ever since the release of those two, that standard has not been met once. The past two games, Cold War and Vanguard, has yet to live up to the standard of Modern Warfare. There is a reason Modern Warfare still charts higher than Cold War and Vanguard right now when it comes to player count and viewer count on sites like Twitch. As much as I do hate Modern Warfare, I have to say that the last few years of COD have yet to do what Modern Warfare did for the franchise or even get close to it. And for Modern Warfare 2, chances are it's going to outdo Cold War and Vanguard combined by the end of its life cycle. And first and foremost, it's going to be called Modern Warfare 2. I'm willing to put quite a lot of money into the fact that it's going to be called Modern Warfare 2. There is just absolutely no reason they don't name it that. It's the second game in the rebooted franchise, and just the title Modern Warfare is going to sell more because it's Modern Warfare, and because it's Modern Warfare 2. It's going to sell more because everyone puts that original Modern Warfare 2 on the pedestal, and having the same name as that original Modern Warfare 2 is just going to skyrocket the sales for the game and get people to want to buy it. Also with this is that the game is most likely going to go the same route as Modern Warfare 2019 where it's a game made for horrible players and does everything in its path to slow the game down. And as awful as game design like that is, it sells because most people that casually play COD and are pretty bad players to just be honest, they like that kind of pacing. And while I would love to see combat pacings that we see in Vanguard now in this upcoming COD because I do think those combat pacings does the job well enough where people that are just not great can stay in their slow 6v6 games and people that want the faster pace more fun arcade style can be in their blitz, I just don't think that will personally happen because it's Infinity Ward. They rarely listen to the community when it comes to feedback, and usually they do everything by their own standards whether it's right or wrong. But also along with this, a new Warzone is coming out as well, which is rumored no official confirmation along with all this, so of course you have to speculate, so just take, it, take this with a grain of salt, but chances are there's a new Warzone coming out this year, and that is also going to skyrocket this game. The more you really look into it, the more you realize it's literally just going to be Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2. Just this time with OG Modern Warfare 2 guns and maps like how Modern Warfare 19 had COD 4 maps and guns and a new Warzone like how Modern Warfare 19 introduced Warzone. There are also rumors that there are a Tarkov type mode that will come and replace Spec Ops for the game and I, I don't see that increasing sales per se but I do think that will help just people that buy the game. And there's also the fact that no one cares about Vanguard right now and Vanguard is doing worse than a 3 year old COD right now when Vanguard is in its prime. So people are just going to be eager to get back to a modern setting with a game and be back in the Modern Warfare game again. And the devs know that. It's obviously, it's not planned per se, but like they know that this is going to be big because people are not rocking with Vanguard and they want Modern Warfare again. So all in all, it just, it's lining up to be a huge year for COD, which is going to be good and bad obviously good because it's going to boost sales and get everyone back together on COD again, but bad because it's going to reinstate that horrible game design again, and that's just going to be the standards for future CODs, and I really don't want to see that because I just don't find that enjoyable compared to older CODs. Overall though, I really see no reason for Infinity War not to just basically copy and paste this new Modern Warfare from Modern Warfare 2019, just like how Sledgehammer did with Vanguard. It just sells well, and at the end of the day, the money comes first. Hopefully they did learn some things from Modern Warfare 2019 and what made that game so unfun for veteran players and work on that to make the new game more fun for everyone, but chances are they didn't, which is cause for concern because I still believe that Modern Warfare 2019 is the worst multiplayer experience out of any cause for people that don't suck at the game and I really don't want the new game to be like that. Modern Warfare 2019 could have been a really fun game in my opinion, but the game design was just so horrible that it just ruined it. And the game was so bad that I literally skipped over that game for the year and rarely touched it. I think I have less than a day in that game, which is crazy for COD and me. But hopefully they could just make the game better and make it fun for everyone. Let me know in the comments though what you think about the rumors of the new game and if you're excited for a Modern Warfare 2 or worried about the new game. If you did enjoy the video though, make sure not to leave without leaving a like and subscribing for more, but until next time, see ya.